bought this reading magnifier from a vendor on a train. It's a thin and flexible plastic plate. It may be used as a bookmark. This device is called Fresnel lens, after its inventor. When we move the lens away from the page, it magnifies letters just like an ordinary magnifying glass. But how does this lens work? An ordinary lens focalizes parallel rays through light refraction on a convex plane. Let us slice the lens and remove parallel plane plates since they don't affect the ray course. Now we move the remaining pieces into a single plane. What we get is Fresnel lens, which has become much thinner, but it still does focalize parallel rays. We can clearly see the rings which constitute the lens's surface if we look at it from a short distance. To measure the focal distance of the lens, we create the source image on the screen. The distance from the source to the lens and from the lens to the screen now equals 34 cm. Let's use the thin lens formula. The focal distance of our lens is 17 cm. We are going to try and use a Fresnel lens as an astronomical one. We will view the image that the lens creates on the focal plane through a camera working in macro photography mode and not with a naked eye. Our telescope is functioning but with great distortion, so a Fresnel lens isn't suitable for a telescope. But they work excellently in searchlights of lighthouses. Fresnel invented those lenses precisely for using them in lighthouses, since their thickness and weight are much smaller than those of ordinary lenses, and they may be assembled from separate parts. A bright lamplight refracted in such a lantern moves in different directions in several narrow light beams. When such a construction rotates on its axis, sailors on a ship can see the lighthouse's flashing signals.